Hi everyone. In this video, I am continuing the data acquisition system. In the previous video, I have explained data acquisition system as a whole block diagram and explained over there. So now, the factors that are having influence on this data acquisition system, they are the most important factors that decided the configuration and subsystem of data acquisition system are as follows. So what are the different types of factors that are uh, actually dealing this data acquisition system are accuracy and resolution accuracy and resolution so degree of exactness or closeness of a measured quantity with the absolute or required or quantities it is nothing but accuracy so resolution is nothing but smallest changes we should give the change number of channels to be monitored number of channels to be monitored monitored in the previous example of the data acquisition system i have considered four different channels so likewise how many number of channels are there must be monitored Analog or digital signal, what type of signal we are giving, whether it is an analog signal or digital signal. Since the channel is a multi-channel, <coughs> since the channel are uh, single or multi-channel, single channel or multi-channel, we have a separate uh, topic for this single channel and multi-channel. Single channel means only one type of transducer should be there and uh, that the data will be collected and sending to the processing unit. In the multi-channel, the same it is also multi-channel works with the principle of uh, um, the basic standard uh, data acquisition system. And the second last one is sampling rate per channel, sampling rate per channel. Single conditioning, uh, signal conditioning requirements of each channel. So what are the different requirements of the channel that has to be uh, one of the factors cost cost is also another important factor so whatever the work whatever the design we are taking that should be very cost effective so different kinds of general configurations of data equation systems are available the various general configurations inside the following single channel possibilities and multi-channel possibilities so single channel possibilities that are coming from direct conversion pre-amplification and direct conversion, sample and hold and conversion, pre-amplification, signal conditioning and any of the above. See here what are the different types of single channel possibilities we have. One is a direct contribution. One is direct contribution. So direct conversion, sorry, and that means whatever the data we are collecting, that data will be converted into digital data and processed further. Another one is pre-amplification and direct conversion. So the received data is amplified because the received data is always maybe a less value that has to be amplified before applying it to the direct converters. Sample and hold circuit and conversion. What do you mean by sample and hold circuit? Sample and hold circuit, it takes the signal, collects the signal, samples for some time and again holds the signal. Okay. So sample and hold circuit is nothing but here the signal will be collected like this and holds, collected, hold the signal, collected, hold the signal. So in this way, one type of uh, signal, sampling uh, signal can be generated. So it uh, cuts the signal into number of pieces and again during this construction, sample and hold should be done. Pre-amplification, signal conditioning and any other above possibilities. So coming to the multi-channel possibility, so multiplexing the output of single channel converters multiplexing the output of sample hold circuits multiplexing the inputs of sample hold circuits multiplexing low data low level data multiplexing low level data coming to single channel das data acquisition system so single channel data acquisition system nothing but only one channel is there so how many sensors or how many transducers we can use? Only one. So single channel trans uh, DA is what is the uh, data acquisition system concept says to us. So in the data acquisition system, uh, we have multiple transducers, T1, T2, T3 and so on, Tn. All these are having individual channels. So it is a pre-amplification process is there and as well as data acquisition should also be there. So here also same, here also same, here also same. So output of this one is connected to a multiplexer where the multiplexer is used to merge all these onto a single signal. That is the single signal output. 
so in this way a um, uh, what is uh, what is the basic uh, data acquisition system working in the single channel data acquisition system instead of having n number of channels we have only single channel the output of this one is passing through a signal conditioning and then given to the multiplexer so this is what the single channel digital to analog converter uh, operation so here a digital to analog converter has been used Digital to analog converter has been used and the digital data is applied to buffer. Let it be 1010. Okay, for 4 bit data, I have just assumed it is 1010 that is now collected by this buffer and will be stored for further purposes. So, again, the digital to analog converter has an input from convert command. Convert command. So, whenever this convert command occurs, this analog to digital data has to be converted. This is what the single channel digital to analog converter. Coming to multi channel digital to analog converter, it is like your standard um, normal uh, block diagram of this data acquisition system where the input data has been applied with um, analog signal 1, 2, 3, and so on. The output of these are connected to some scaling amplification signal conditioning. Same matter we have used for both first and second blocks in such where what we have analog signal 1, analog signal 2, analog signal 3 and analog signal 4. So, 4 different signals are there, 4 are nothing but multi-channel. That's why it is multi-channel. So, what are the different channels we have? This is one channel and this is another channel. And this is third channel and this one is the fourth channel. So, whatever the uh, basic standard data acquisition system says to us, the same the, uh, concept is going on where the multiplexer is having the input from the logic or AND gate. Uh, and the AND gate is also connected with the sample and hole circuit which is from the same line. Okay. So, this is what the multi-channel uh, digital to uh, multi-channel data acquisition system where uh, different types of uh, uh, data is being processed and collected by this uh, signal conditioners. So, signal conditions will condition or uh, change the properties without changing the original content just it amplifies the signal so that the signal will be captured by the internal circuit diagram. Coming to various applications of this uh, transducers. Uh, digital uh, data acquisition systems are in many industrial applications mechanical quantities are like temperature pressure flow velocity and so on are measured so different types of industry applications are there because of that industrial uh, changes we have the physical parameters like uh, temperature pressure flow velocity and so on are going to be measured so in robotics, tactile and manufacturing applications, so most commonly these type of uh, devices can be data equation can be used in uh, tactile and uh, man um, manufacturing applications. In manufacturing applications, what are the different uh, uh, methods we need to follow that can be calculated clearly and shown by the data equation system. In control systems, when motion feedback is employed, in control systems where motion feedback is employed, if motion feedback is there, definitely we should go this for this data equation system because it is having lot of other features also. We need to collect and what are the main um, actions to be taken, movements should be taken, such type of feedback only we need to gather. So, in process testing, monitoring and diagnostics applications so this type of this type of data acquisition system can be utilized in process testing monitor monitoring and diagnosis applications where the, uh, we can simply uh, troubleshoot the problem what has been identified so engineers and scientists in nearby nearly every industry use data acquisition for validating and verifying a, a design prototype Teaching in a university lab, diagnosing a machine, malfunctioning or controlling the manufacturing process. So, all these are coming to the applications of this, uh, applications of this uh, data acquisition systems so where we are using them in the industries or we can use them to calculate the required testing uh, um, <coughs> applications and different types of engineering and society in yearly. <coughs> every industry 
use data acquisition for validating the verifying well, uh, verifying a design prototype teaching and in a university lab diagnosis and machine model functioning or conditioning the manufacturing process so this is what the data acquisition system and their block diagram and explanation uh, so what you have to remember I'm just saying data acquisition system which is used to collect the data which is used to acquire the data so data acquisition system the output of this data acquisition system that means there are two types of uh, data acquisition systems are there one is single channel data acquisition system and second one is multi-channel data acquisition system single channel multi-channel what is the difference between single channel and multi-channel in single channel there is only one transistor output one transducer output that will be processed okay but in the multi-channel data acquisition system multiple inputs we are applying and collecting the output as a bulk so multiplexer is used there all the signals are going to be multiplexed and again once we have everything is ready and if you want to demultiplex them again demultiplexer circuits need to be used so this is what the important uh, concepts of data acquisition system block diagram and uh, configurations are there factors are there objectives are there everything we have seen and lastly we have ended up with this applications thank you